Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fallout New Vegas experience. Hooray! And before we go anywhere and get this video going, I'd like to address the elephant in the room if you would. Stupid elephant, I wish it would go away. But, yes, it's post E3, and no I have not seen any of the Fallout 4 trailer from Bethesda, because I don't want to. I watched the first five minutes of the Bethesda E3 conference about Fallout 4. I got up to just when they were bringing in the character creation screen when I gave up. And it was partly because, you know, the previous four minutes of him going on about how this is... This good guy on stage going about how this is the greatest game ever of all time and how we love the community and all that crap was pissing me off. Also because I feel like that... You know, maybe if I watch the conference it will taint my own personal ideas of what the game should be. And I'd rather not do that, so we're just gonna go completely blind, and when I buy the copy, or buy my copy whenever it comes out, I want to go into it completely blind, and, you know, let it surprise me. Okay, aside from that, nothing else to report. Wait, I do, actually. Kind of an idea, an obligation, if you will. Um, Bethesda, I, I want you guys to pay attention. Okay? Now... I want everyone to drift their eyes back to minds back to Fallout 3. Remember in Fallout 3 how there were the, you know, the cyborgs or the um, human androids created at the Institute up in Boston that looked exactly like humans except they were actually robots? And, you know, you had the option of saving them or reporting the one in Rivet City? Remember that? Good, I'm glad you do. Because if... If in Fallout 4, there is a twist where it turns out that your player character turns out to be one of those cyborgs, I will throw a fit on video. I will throw a fucking fit. And I will probably throw my um, PS4 copy of Fallout 4 into my fireplace. Because if you dare go down that cheap, pathetic, crappy road... And come up with the thing like, oh, guess what? You're not actually a vault survivor. You're actually a robot. Then I will fucking murder you, Bethesda, in your sleep. With cyanide gas. Understand? No stupid lame twist. And firming, you know, the fact if you're a robot. Keep the player a human character. And, you know, I'm not against robots before any of you social justice pricks get onto me. But, I just hate it. It's so cliched and so overused. I don't want to know about it. Okay. Let's do a quest. What have we got? Now, we will... Where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? Nah. Not going there under any... Well, not at the moment. And I'm not going to Vault 22 either, which I know is over there somewhere. Um, I don't, I could go to Vault 22, but I don't, nah, I don't know. Not going there. You know what? Let's go to Freeside. Let's go to Freeside and help out the Kings, because I actually love doing the Kings quest line, and I think the Kings are actually pretty good guys. And they actually do a lot for people out in the area, so, you know what, let's, yeah, let's go to Freeside. Alright, apologies about that rant, guys, but, you know, it had to be done, so, you know, all is well. And we will carry on on our majestic adventures into New Vegas. I am looking forward to this one, it should be good. Alright. <sighs> With the second rank of the Animal Friend perk, animals will come to your aid in combat, but not against other animals. Thank you, game! Alright, we're here! In we go! The families that now run the Strip of New Vegas were little more than squabbling tribes a few decades ago. Seem to have gone up in the world, then. Uh, but we seem to know what the tribes of Gamora were on about. And we seem to know what the tribes of the White Glove Society were on about. By the way, remind me in the comments to murder all of them when I get into that casino. Oh, really? <sighs> poor guy. There we go. I know he's poor and he's a bit sad and, you know, he's 
probably mugging people as like a last resort, but I still have no qualms about the fact I had to blow his head off. Just, you know, a bit disappointed in him. He could have picked a better opponent. Someone unarmed. You know, someone, you know, during the night time maybe. Ah, well, bugger it. Let's carry on. <sighs> carry on on our way through the wastes. Well, actually, it's not the wastes, it's Freeside. Freeside isn't actually that bad. Uh, pardon me. The New California Republic Rangers are volunteer elite special forces renowned as much for their shrewd reconnaissance capabilities as their bravery and combat prowess. Okay. Where are we going now? Oh, my barrel. God, I put that barrel on the top of that car. Ah, uh, what a happy barrel. Where are we going? Ah, uh, to be honest, you're the best thing that comes out of the Atomic Wrangler. They don't actually have much good thing on tap. Besides, I'd rather actually work for it and, you know, sleep with Red Lucy or... Uh, uh, Sarah. What is it? Pretty? Not Pretty Sarah. Can't remember her name. Bob! Fucking bother, 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 bother. Fuck's sake. My PlayStation just crashed. Fucking, oh, I knocked the cable. Son of a bitch. Ah! Fucking hell. I wonder why I've been doing more PC recordings lately. Right, well, I nudged the cable one inch. One about an inch is a long way. I tapped the cable with my big toe, and it completely flipped out and caused my computer to crash. So, fuck you, cable. You can't see me doing it, but I'm flipping off the cable. Flip, fuck you. Yeah, that's all I got. Right. Okay. Oh, why well, thank you, King, Mr. King. Gratefully appreciated. I like you. you. You you keep order in the town. Don't actually need a bodyguard, because I have these two. Miss Santiago, who's the greatest NPC in any game ever, and makes my character completely redundant in every way whatsoever. And Eddie, who, while is very irritating on occasion, is a very good sniper and pack mule. So I don't really need to hire a bodyguard. Also, the fact I'm carrying, like, all this heavy weaponry might not work either. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Listen, we're creative. Alright, intersection of Fremont and Las Vegas Boulevard. Destitute travelers. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, I see. All right. Thank you for loading game. Dun 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 dun. I was actually thinking of buying this for the PC the other day because I was thinking, you know, I am doing a lot more PC recording and my PlayStation's not as young as she used to be. But then I have a thing against rebuying games I already own, and I'd probably—I know this is really weird—I'd probably sooner buy a new PlayStation. Then I would uh, buy another copy of the same game I already own. The only exception for that was, uh, what was it? I had a Sly trilogy. I already own Sly two and three on the PS2, which worked fine. However, I'd never actually owned Sly one before, so I actually mostly bought the remastered for Sly one, but the remastered versions of the other two were just icing on the cake. Alright, let's go make ourselves look a bit more presentable, shall we? And let's take off the shotgun. We're totally just an innocent person looking to be hired. Hell yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. Um, simple. Ha, huh? simple but fair rules. I mean, it's kind of, 
I think for extra money, he should have. You should be able to pay him to get you to take you to side quests, but oh well. You also get a free, you know, tour as you're walking around, so. Eh, I suppose it's all good. Oh, okay, well, thanks for giving me advice on how to wipe out the kings. <laughs> Gratefully appreciated, I guess. <laughs> uh, food heals more slowly than stim packs, but is more common in the Mojave Wasteland. Now, oh. it always does that when I start reading it in that really irritating monotone that probably annoys everyone. But hey, I love doing it. Yeah, I don't think the Wrangler's all that. I'd rather go to Gamora. Better girls, better alcohol. You can get a shitload of free guns if you do the quest line. Gamora's the place to be. Alright, you're the boss. You have a gun, though. You could kill them. Oh, well, where are you going? Ah... <sighs> Well, what are you doing? We... We also... I love how I've got my own two personal bodyguards following that one. Why have you drawn your gun out? Why are you running ahead? Are you planning on raping me? Or ambushing me? Boom. Boom. Hey, you only fired three bullets, and that guy was already on the ground. What the hell type of bullshit is this? Um... Okay. Logical. Mm-hmm. Boop. Boop. Ha-ha! <laughs> I actually did that by accident the first time I ever played it. That's how I figured out what, um, what the quest line was. I actually figured that out because I was just punching the corpse for a laugh and then it turns out like the corpse has come alive and it was a whole scam and I'm like, whoa! Was not anticipating that. Alright. Boof. Boof. And let's vats. Oh. I was going to vats kill him. Oh. Sorry, Oris. If you just, you know, let the fugs beat you up for, you know, extorting people out of stuff, then we would never have had to come to this. Oh, well. Hey, Veronica. Power, power fist buddies. Power fist buddies, we both got power fists. We're the best. Alright, let's loot these guys. Eh. 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 Hmm. Eh. I was gonna say, we should check the guys and, you know, double tap them to make sure they don't turn into zombies, but I think Veronica did a good job with the power fist work herself, really. Kind of makes... What I'm about to do seem extra redundant, but you know what? If there's anything I do in this game, it's being redundant. Alright. Uh, da -da -da. This is all in the aid of stopping the zombie apocalypse infections. That will surely happen because this is a post-apocalyptic video game. Alright, there we go. With the zombie threat scourged, we can carry on and report our findings to Mr. King. I don't call him the king, because there is not, he is not the king, he's just Mr. King. Also, if he was a king, he would have a better kingdom than this little shithole. No offense. But it is kind of a shithole. Look at all the boarded up windows. I mean, you got assholes hanging around, you know, oil drums. With fire in them. What, I, what I'm trying to say by that obnoxious whispering, that's probably irritating you guys, is that this isn't very good place. It's kind of shitty. Which is not to say that, you know, be being proud of what you have is not a noble thing. I mean, it's great. I mean, have be proud and, you know, have pride and honor in what you have. I mean, I'm perfectly proud of me having an old aging PS3 and some shitty recording equipment. I don't need any massive, you know, corporate setup. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, I try not to be subtle. When I tell someone that they're a bitch, I usually tell it out, or out to them. Um, yep, coming to the... Yeah. 
Well, that's a bit sad. You shouldn't resent um, the people. Well, fair enough, getting ornery from being resented. It's just, you need to sit down and give a couple of beers out and just talk it out, guys. Don't beat each other up. It just ain't cool. Old Mormon Fort. Okay. Cool. Also, the dog is scaring, is staring in a really, really disturbing way. Just look at the dog. That's like, that's like, you know, the old Bioware face syndrome. I'm pretty confident it's that. Okay. Oh, phew. The dog is fine. That was just creeping me out for a minute. Blech. Nothing's up. What's up with you? higher your intelligence, the more skill points you'll able, you'll be able to distribute when you level up. Thank you, game. There's a new sheriff in town, and he's looking for deputies. Sounds like something Woody would say from Toy Story. Rewatched that last night, actually. I don't know why, I just got it into my head. I was like, you know what, I really want to see the original Toy Story again. So I threw on my Blu-ray copy, and I was like, Yep, that still totally holds up. Good movie. And then I was planning on watching Toy Story 2 after this recording. What's the time? 7... 10 to 8. Gotta be somewhere... Gotta be somewhere at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. I'll probably do it. Screw it. I go to bed at sensible times. That's for boring people. And people who actually have jobs. Ah... <sighs> The old Las Vegas Mormon State Historic Park. Ah, uh, park. Up, Old Mormon Fort. Does it mean that it's occupied by old Mormons? Also, it would be fitting that Mormons, this is not insulting against Mormons, because as I've stated in the previous video, which you should watch, I've no, I know quite a few Mormons, one of my friends is a Mormon, I went out with a Mormon, blah, 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 blah. But it's amazing how Mormon... Like, the Mormon religion was one of the ones to survive the apocalypse. Like, I have I have heard of, um, like, in one of the DLC, the Burn Man, and all of them are Christians. They follow the, they definitely, you know, they believe in God and they follow the Bible. But it's funny how, like, Christianity and Mormon survives. I, I've never heard of any Jew, like, Jews or any other religious thing in Fallout except for Christianity and Mormons. Kind of interesting. Kind of odd. Sup? That's a bit rude. Thank you. Oh, God, I have to say, I have to say I'm sent on half of someone important for anyone to actually get anything. Alright. 11? Oh, that's, that's pretty early. Um, I would have pictured it to be about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Ah, oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, so you turn left instead of right. Understandable. And what the fuck game? Bullshit. Ugh. Right. To avoid bumping or touching or looking at or breathing on or staring at or flipping off that bitch cable. Which I'm going to have to buy another one of. So expect PC recordings for the rest of the week while I get that sorted out. I have completely moved... Away from where I was sitting, taking my microphone stand with me, and I'm sitting in a really uncomfortable position to avoid sitting on any wires. So, let us hit continue uh, then all hell and carry works. on. Kid got the worst of it. Sad to say. I'm gonna flip off the wire anyway. Screw you, wire. Right. Do you remember anything about the people who attacked they you? Big guys. They were big young guys. Too. No old okay, like young too, not old. Hell, none of them okay. were even half my age. Big guys, mostly, mostly face, face down, down in the dirt. My life when it happens, so oh, I only poor guy. To look at him. I hope you find the bastards that did this. Wayne over there. Want, All right, Wayne. Wayne Brady. No, that just Wayne. The he did. I don't really know what else I can add. They better were dressed than most free. Okay. Sorry. Um. Hey, wait. I just remembered something. Thank you. I'm we had just about had it when one Lou. of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. Okay, Lou. Said, Lou's a, Lou's a promising else. start. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something. Lou something Tenen. It's Left Tenen, actually. Said <laughs> I love this guy because totally calling him out. But 
<laughs> Dumb as a mutant sometimes. No problem. All right, Veronica. We got everything we need. Let's talk to Julie, though. Oh, I quite like her. Hello, Miss Larkus. All right. Hmm. Medix Railway and Fixer. All right. Um, so far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. Hmm. You might ask around. Making Ralphs. Okay. Let's just talk to you for a second. More than rough. Freeside townies. Freeside. Freeside. There is always uh, something needing done. We need a regular supply okay. of medicine and organized. But the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what too many caps Lastly, for what we need. Tension. Hmm. All right, I'm going to come back and definitely help you guys out cuz as much as I find the what's up? Uh followers of the apocalypse a little bit annoying at times. They have a good message, and they've got a good heart, and I appreciate what they're trying to do out in the wastes. So, I'll let them all slide. Hmm. The repair school allows you to optimize and maintain weapons and apparel. Ow. Oh. And it did it again. Alright, what are we doing? Down to quest. Okay. Um, so I'm guessing at some point we should go talk to the Crimson Caravan Company about getting a trade route set up for followers of the apocalypse. Although, mostly I usually end up talking to the people in Freeside to save on travel. That's because I'm slightly lazy when it comes to this. Also, the only thing that bugs me about the whole King's Quest line, I love how the fact it's all in um, the New Vegas outer area. Like, there's no endless backtracking and wandering around and you know all that sort of boring stuff you know there's no schlepping to here or schlepping to here but because of all the multiple doors and stuff it gets really obnoxious with the loading times i swear half of this quest is just loading screens which on the pc or if you had like a ps4 or xbox one remastering wouldn't be a problem but for my old ps3 which is you know needs to be replaced pretty soon um it gets quite ir irritating also king's gone to sleep hasn't he well bollocks i need to talk to the man oh well i think this business is good as any to wake him up with that's, a, that's good as i what's up gang up we go boop 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 uh, look for the biggest shiniest fanciest roof uh, upstairs, one more floor. Ooh, this hotel is confusing. It's also dirty. Who cleans this place? Seriously. Get a bit of cleaner. Oh, there are bathrooms. Where is this? There we go. These hotels in New Vegas are so unintuitively aired out. And look at it. It looks like something out of a Silent Hill game. Just even that slight bit of fog and mist coming off the screen. Seriously, just triple that fog effect. You know, take away this gun I've got holding in my companions and force me to sneak around dodging, you know, Pyramid Head and it will be complete. Ugh! Didn't expect to see him there. Uh, well, not true. Um, groupie. I could think of another word for that, but I'm not going to use it. What's up, King? Have you found anything oh, Mr. King. Ah. Okay. If something big is, right. Right. Just don't ask me what to do about it. I think it, it's a bit of hostile contempt towards the followers. I consider that a bit rude and beneath you, Mr. King. But I'll talk to Julie nonetheless. Um, ma'am. Come along, Veronica. I'm sorry that we're just sort of running around, but we'll get the. We'll get to the exciting quests in a mo in a bit. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll have plenty more times to, you know, show that my character and in turn myself is completely redundant. You just gotta give me a bit more time. Wrong. So it's nice that this hotel's still working and they actually got it up and running. I still reckon running a broom around the place wouldn't be, you know, too much to ask. Where are we going? There we go. Whoever designed this hotel really 
Walk into a real hotel at one point, please, and then come back to me. Because this is not how I'd expect a hotel to be organised. And especially not a hallway door to the rooms directly behind the counter. Now, and the, yeah, it's not really well laid out as a hotel goes, but, you know, I can't really pick. It's That's a bit nitpicky and rude. The new California Republic Rangers are a, vo a volunteer elite special forces, renowned as much for their shrewd reconnaissance capabilities as their bravery and combat prowess. Rangers are pretty good. I'd rather have Veronica or any member of the Brotherhood of Steel on me, but, you know, Brotherhood's not bad. Also, um, it's night time and everyone will be asleep. Because unlike my character, because we're not in hardcore mode, I don't need to sleep. But I'm, I think I know where I can find a mattress where I can just, you know, chill. Just chill for the night. Take the load off. Uh, Alright, uh, I think it's over here from memory. <sighs> yeah, this isn't really that good a place, to be honest. It's kind of shitty. And, and that guy makes a big deal about that water well being so important, but it kind of isn't. Oh, the bed must be in there. Oh, well. Uh, can we sit through a loading screen, or should I just sleep in this dumpster? I'm better than that. I'm better than that. You all know that I'm better than that. I'm not Ashley from Resident Evil 4. I'm better than that. Are you not see... Screw it, I'm not going to read it. I screwed up the first line. Right. Mattress. Sleep. Uh, a nice, solid 10-hour sleep. wonder where Veronica sleeps. I have an idea of where she sleeps, but it's not PG-rated. And it's probably a physical impossibility because this is a video game. Um, I think there's one upstairs actually she would sleep on. Uh, no, there isn't. Okay, well, she probably just either slept next to me or s took down one of these wooden crates to sleep on. No matter. With each rank of the Demolition Expert perk, all of your explosives weapons do an additional 20% damage. Hell yeah, grenade machine gun. Because overkill is underrated. Alright, where are we going? Uh, yep. Okay, I want to go see what's in this corner. Pretty sure I've explored this corner before in multiple playthroughs, but... You know, you guys may not have explored it. This may be the only experience you've ever had with Fallout New Vegas. And I'd like to give you a unique and varied opportunity. So we're going to go look in this corner. I hope it was everything you ever dreamed it would be. Let's go look in this corner. I hope that is everything you dreamed it would be as well. I can see it over there. Why can't I just walk over there? Damn this impassable rubble. Oh, there you go. I think Veronica and Eddie were having a conversation. Hmm. Oh, makeshift bedding. Could have slept there and then Veronica would have had another bed. Oh well, bugger it. It's alright now. Uh, it is another day. Another dawn, another day. And we're still wearing that same lightweight power arm. Ugh, power armor? Lightweight metal armor that we always are. Alright, let's open the massively oversized wooden gates. Uh, the Wild Wasteland trait converts a few normally ordinary occurrences into zany, wacky encounters. Actually, there's one right around here. We should go do that. We'll go talk to Miss um, Julie first. You go to Miss Julie. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hi, do you need assistance? Uh, not at... I'm done. Fuck you, Cable. Fuck you, Console. Well, not fuck you, Console. My console's great. Fuck you, Cable. Fuck you, Console Recording. 
I'm going to go back to PC recording for a bit because while Fraps does give me 50 gig files I have to immediately compress, it doesn't crap out and crash my computer three times in a night. So I'm going to work a way around this because I want to continue this series and hopefully to finish it in the time Fallout 4 comes out. And I want to finish my Sly series and a lot of my console series, but consider them on hold until I can get my hands on a new cable or a better game capture. So, yeah, with that being said, thank you very much for watching. Um, apologies for this video. I'm going to put it up anyway because I just want to A, get this out there and B, show you that, well, what happened really. I like to include my fuck-ups for you, you all to see. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all again another time.